We've got the proof. You've heard God's law. You look at that law. You look at those Ten Commandments. That's the mirror God gives you to look in. To see yourself the way God sees you. And then Jesus Christ ramps it up. And he says, not even just killing, even hating your neighbor. You're in danger of hellfire. The greatest hellfire preacher who ever lived was Jesus Christ himself. He said, I testify about the world that its deeds are evil. Don't be surprised that the world hates you. It hated me before it hated you. And to the extent that any blood-bought child of God will identify with Jesus Christ in the sinful and adulterous generation, to that extent, they will taste a little bit of the rejection that Jesus tasted as he was rejected by a fallen, depraved, sinful world. Jesus Christ drank the cup, the whole cup, all the way to the dregs. He drank the cup the Father gave him to suffer in the stead of his people who deserve to be thrown into hell. And he took all of their punishment and all of their wrath. The sinless Son of God took the full measure of the wrath of God when he was crushed for the sins of those who would turn away and come to him. It's a glorious message, my friends. It's a good news message for bad people. Jesus Christ died for liars. He died for thieves. He died for the sexually immoral. He died for adulterers. He died for those who bring their babies to abortion clinics. But you must turn from your sin. You must fall at his knees. Beg God to give you a repentant heart. Beg God to save you from your sin. Beg God to save you from yourself. That's the only message that will ever set you free to turn and place all of your hope and all of your confidence in Jesus Christ alone.